everybody. Welcome in. It is Friday, and with the Grand Prix here in Nashville, it just seems right to have Tom Wopat as our very first guest. It's so exciting. You know him as Luke Duke, but today we are talking about his huge music career and his new album right here, Simple Man, which is out now. Tom, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very You're much. opening I'm glad to be the here. show. It's a very exciting well, day over here. Well, you know, with the Grand Prix going on, and the, we were supposed to be race drivers back in the day, so it all makes sense. It all makes sense. So let's talk music. You do a little bit of everything. This album is your 13th studio album. Yeah, and this is one where I went in with my band in New York, and we rehearsed for a couple of days, and we cut everything in a couple in a couple of days. It was wow. it was remarkable, and uh, I'm really really happy with it. It's very eclectic. We cover a couple of James Taylor. We do a Sean Colvin. We do one from Hamilton. Oh, wow. Yeah, with, and a couple of uh, originals. Actually, one of the originals is County Line, which is from this, uh, this movie that I did on the INSP um, network. And that, that just came out about the same time the album did in November. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, and I was actually going to bring that up. So this County Line was an original song of yours, correct? You wrote correct. it? Correct, I wrote it. They wow. they had in the script that, you know, there was this montage and there's guitar music over it and a reveal me playing guitar. I said, well, <laughs> I should write a song for you then. Yeah. And it turned out it turned out pretty good. So That's great. Um, I'm real happy with it. Well, guess what? People at home don't have to wait to listen because we do have a little snippet. So let's take a listen. My daddy was just a poor dirt farmer He fed his family by cooking up shine The local law One night they had a corner He lost his life On the county line Wow. Love that song. I love it. It hits you in the soul. Well, it's nice and it's down, you know, it's down south. It's snaky. The guy who played lead guitar played with James Taylor for 20 years. And he says, man, I got to play all those licks that I love to play. You know, that southern snake music. Yeah, it's got a grit to it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And you are having a huge weekend here in town. Yeah, I, I'm here at Cooters. Uh, Cooters out by Opryland. Um, and we have a General Lee out there. And we do it a couple times a year. I come in for the weekend and sign autographs for four or five hours. We start at like 11, uh, both tomorrow and Sunday. And uh, we have fans of all ages and sizes and from all over the country they come in. It's, it's amazing. And we take pictures with the car and I have CDs and DVDs and 8x10s, the whole nine yards. You know, the Dukes of Hazard was such a phenomenon. It was such a, it's a, a iconic. fan favorite. It's amazing. What is it? I guess I should say, at the time, did you have any idea you'd be yeah, doing you can't. this? You can't have any idea that it's going to have the staying power that it has. Yeah. And for us, one of the uh, remarkable things is that half the people that come through the line are under, under 15. They're little kids and stuff, and they're like fourth and fifth generation fans. It's really, really cool. That is amazing. How have you seen the fans change over the years? Well, <laughs> not as many girls hitting on me. I know that. <laughs> That's fine. I, I, have a, I have a great time doing it. And, you know, the fans really keep the show alive. And there, there's a Cooters here. There's one in Pigeon Forge. There's one in Virginia. And I appear at uh, all of them twice a year. And the fans keep coming out. And they just, like I say, they keep the show alive. That's and great. it sounds like um, there's another network, I think, that's going to start running them again. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Well, why not? Very it's cool. It's going to be around long after I'm gone. <laughs> that's amazing. Let's talk a little trivia, okay? Hit me. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to ask a few questions. I may not know the answer. You may not. <laughs> I, I think you will. Okay. First question. Why were Bo and Luke on probation? I don't know. I guess we got caught running shine, I would imagine. Yep. And that's why we couldn't have guns. <laughs> that's great. You got it. Caught running moonshine. All right. What bar did Daisy Duke work at? Boar's Nest. Yep. These are easy. Um, what was Bo and Luke's CB handle? Uh, lost Sheep. Yes. Lost Sheep. Cousin Daisy's handle was, do you remember? Bo Peep. Uncle Jesse was known as? Shepherd. Woo! 
Woo! That's good. Okay. When Bo and Luke leave Hazard County to work for a professional race car league, who are the two Duke cousins who take over the General Lee? Coy and Vance. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, how many cars did the Dukes of Hazard go through during the entire show? I can't say the word on, on camera. <laughs> A boatload. <laughs> 317 so Dodge say, Chargers were uh, used. That's, that's, Who knows? That's under discussion. Okay, okay. Well, that was awesome. Thank you so much for being here. It's my here. pleasure. Thanks for playing with us today. Always, always a pleasure. Oh, stay seated. I'm going to tell everybody <laughs> that you should follow Tom's journey at TomWopat.com. Don't forget, head to Cooters. You can see him, you can meet him, you can take a picture with him. He's wonderful. And you can find out more information at cootersplace.com. And local.